Read it again, Manny. Again? I've read it six times. Just one more time. Please. Okay. Emma, you saved my heart and my project. If we protect the wildlife refuge, I owe it all to you. Love you, Jordan. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Let me see his picture again. He gets cuter each time I see his face. Is that possible? Hey, Manny, don't wreck that. I want Kaylin to autograph it. Emma, ready to go? Just a minute. We don't have a minute. JD's waiting for us. Em, your room's a disaster. I thought you were going to clean it up. I will. And turn off that computer. I was just showing Manny your reunion website. I always knew she'd make it big. How is that for a hairdo? Could I have been any cooler? Uh, yeah. My 10-year reunion. Wow. It's going to be great to see everyone again. I'm getting as bad as you guys. Come on. Let's go. That's some pretty cool stuff you collected for the reunion. Thanks. Emma, now. <laughs> Off. No problem, Miss Nelson. It gives us a chance to see the school. Don't you think we'll be seeing enough of it over the next year? You sure you can handle that? I small but strong, like book. Speaking of bull, thanks again, guys. And M? Yes, I'll clean my room. She rushed me out of the house so fast I didn't get to read my new email. I hope it's from Jordan. <laughs> because in the last email, he told me that he's going to send me back to his house. Guys! That sucks about the email. I know, but Jordan emailed me last night, too. Really? What'd he say? I got over 6,000 names on my petition to keep the Polar Wildlife Refuge untouched. Thanks for your help with all this, Em, and for your great idea. You're the best. Wow. I suggested the petition, but Jordan did all the work. He's so committed. Too bad he lives in Yellowknife. Help! People in the 80s were weird. <laughs> This car is retro meets modernism, Lucy. It's got the zing of the past with the technology of the future. I mean, it's even got a little, a little bud vase and you put the flower in peace, man. You look a hippie. <laughs> Joey, ideally, I'd like a car that's bigger than my laptop. I have to move to New Mexico in this thing. This car is a lot bigger than it looks, Lucy. Trust me, OK? Why don't we uh, take a first spin? We'll drop your stuff off at Degrassi, and when we get back, you're going to be begging me to make all you All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Tell me that's not Angela. Yeah. Hey, cutie, you're practically a teenager. <laughs> Can you say hi, Lucy? Hi. Hi. She starts kindergarten next week. Can you oh. believe it? It's going to be great. She really needs to be around other people. Speaking of needing other people, I checked the reunion website last night. You're not confirmed. I know. I know. Joey, we're all sorry that your wife died, but it's been a year. I think that Julia would be upset if she thought that you were cutting yourself off from people. Can we, um, why don't I go in, get the keys, and we'll go for a spin, okay? Angela, you want to go for a spin? 
Yeah, we're gonna sell Lucy a car. Aww. Yeah. 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 I really hope you're Mr. Simpson. I am. And you must be Emma. Wow. 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 Spike found all this stuff. It's amazing. Spike? My mom's nickname. Don't ask. And I can see fedoras are making a comeback. Ah. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, listen, go and enjoy your last few days of freedom. Okay. Spike? Ow! Hey, guys, no running. No, no running. Okay, no, just keep running. Don't listen to me. All right. Holy. Look at all the computers. <laughs> Emma, let's go. Oh, I see. You gonna email Jordan from here? Shut up. Oh, he can read into my soul. Ow! And the jewel in the Degrassi crown? Media Immersion Lab. Every computer here is connected to the internet via high-speed telephone access. Oh, you see, Toby? You have that in your old school. Toby? JT? Mickey Hickey Wobble. Mickey Hickey Yap. Mickey Hickey Wiggle. North Creek Summer Camp. Dude, what are you doing? I guess they're friends. My dad moved in with his girlfriend, and uh, Degrassi's the closest school, so... I think we'll let you two get reacquainted and your father and I will finish filling out the forms in my office. So, Toby, you need a... I I'm gonna walk home, okay? Cool. Oh, sorry. Uh, Manny, Emma, this is Toby. We were at camp together. No, really? Um, nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, the coast is finally clear. Manny, you're coming in with me. No. You two no, stand guard. No, no. So, is your friend always like that? Always. Really? <sighs> Kids. Keith, I know you're really overworked right now, but this weekend's really, really important to me. Come on, it's just one weekend. I want to show you off. Show us off. Please. Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Five o'clock. Thanks, babe. I love you too. Great to see you. Likewise. So you're a teacher at Degrassi. Okay, here. Okay, now, this is your greatest memory of Degrassi. What? So I went through a headband phase. Come on, it was the 80s. You were there. Oh, speaking of the 80s, how about this? Oh. Uh, Joey's fedora. Okay. Nice. Nice, it suits you. Where's the shirt? I don't know. I think they, Joey's they still together. wearing it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Look at that. Why don't you sell me a car like that, Jeremiah? Yeah. <laughs> Manny, would you calm down? If we're caught, I'll say I forced you. Uh-huh. What? What'd he say? Manny? Jordan's coming here, and he wants to meet me tomorrow. So what's your dinosaur's name? Allie. Allie? So you're getting married. Congratulations. Yeah, when's the big day? Uh, sometime next year. And we haven't narrowed it down yet, but um, you're all invited. Great, so when do we actually get to meet Keith? He's on an afternoon flight from LA. 
He's dying to meet you guys. Alea, is he in show business? Mm-hmm. He's a director. I always knew you'd meet the, the guy. Well, I guess um, I should probably go uh, check into my hotel. Um, but Joey, the, the reunion, are you really not going to go? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, then at least come out for drinks with us tonight. I go. You know what? He'd love to. We'll both be there. Great. All right, so I'll see you guys later then. Hi, Caitlin. I want to meet him. It's just, I told him I was in high school. You almost are. Jordan's coming here. You have to meet him. It's fate. Who's Jordan? Some creep Emma met on the net. I bet he lives in Scarborough and works at a video store. I bet he's 40 and drools. You still wet the bed, but I'm friends with you. Ha, ha, ha. OK, if you're meeting a stranger you met off of the net, that could be really dangerous. He's not a stranger. He emailed me his picture. I've known Jordan a lot longer than I've known you. Guys, it's cool. Jordan's 16. He's coming here on a school trip. School trip? It's summer. They organized it back in the spring. He got to go at the last minute. Quit making this into something it's not. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Go back. I want to see that one again. Don't try and speed past that one. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Keith. He's got great taste in jewelry. That's a good sign. Well, thank you. Um, actually, I picked it out myself. Because he, you know, he was so busy with pre-production and all that kind of stuff, he just gave me his card and said, go crazy. Can't complain about crazy. Why are you on my computer? Excuse me, our computer? You're on the reunion site again? Next time, can we try asking before trespassing? Next time, could we be more polite to our guest, M? Caitlin Ryan, Ryan's Planet. Birth date, March 2nd, 1972. You're a Pisces, right? And you're a stalker. I can't believe you're actually here. In my really messy room. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, it's great to see you. All grown up? She wishes. So. Expecting an email from your boyfriend? Did you? You hacked my email? Haven't you ever heard of privacy? Relax, I couldn't hack my way out of a paper bag. But I can't tell when my daughter's getting interested in boys. <laughs> Mom, I'm not having sex. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun this weekend, right? I promise. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we've gone through all the email. No video store, no mention of missing teeth. JT's just worried about you. JT's just immature. That Toby guy seems okay. He's fine, I guess. Yeah. Girls are so much more mature than boys. That's why I like Jordan. I've never had a boyfriend so smart, so thoughtful. And you've never had a boyfriend. <sighs> I know. Maybe what? What Toby said about meeting strangers on the net, being dangerous. <gasps> Manny, I can take care of myself. You don't need to worry so much. We'll meet somewhere public. Maybe you should just talk to your mom. She's cool. She would understand. She's not that cool. Are you saying you don't think I should meet Jordan? Wow, teaching is so noble, you know, giving back, etc. Actually, I'm uh, working on a script about you guys, kind of a dangerous minds meets footloose kind of thing. Just, just a second, <laughs> I gotta take this. Yo, Frankie. Yeah. No, I'm in Toronto. No, I haven't seen any Eskimos yet. Uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Caitlin, I watch your show every week. The situations you get yourself into, you're, you're amazingly brave. <laughs> brave? So what about you? What about me? Oh, come on, don't be so modest. Two years of physical therapy, 
followed by an honors BA and a master's in anthropology. Your PhD in one more year. Guys, that's not brave. No, oh, no, you're right. It's just uh, brilliant, awesome, and amazing. It's not even awesome. It's just life. I survived the accident. I got off easy. Sort of like wheels. Kills a kid. Ten years later, scot free. We got white ones, we got red ones, we got big ones, oh, and we got small oh, ones. No if you buy from me, I'm gonna give you a one-year bumper's oh, warranty. That's right. Oh. At Jeremiah Motors, if you find a lower price anywhere else, I'll give you the shirt on the price tonight. <laughs> Jeremiah Motors, we will love for you. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Joey, that's oh, awesome. I can't need it a commercial, oh, so I made a commercial. So I made a commercial. <laughs> right on, man. It makes or breaks a business. Just, just hold on a sec. Frankie, listen. Uh, listen to me, they're from a major. We are not gonna sign the deal in some low-rent pancake house. Fix it, okay? But, uh, Joey, next time, hire a real actor. You know, avoid this shifty, used car salesman vibe. Oh. I mean, that's what I would do. No, thank you, Keith. No problem, that's what they pay me the big bucks for. <laughs> Gosh, it's funny, it's, it's classic, it's, it's a... Uh, it's Joey. <laughs> Joey, yeah. Keith, if you had seen Joey through high school, total ham the whole way through. I bet. I think it's great. I mean, despite everything you've been through, you're still the same old Joey. Actually, uh, I have changed. And so have you. Excuse me. So. we get two more of those? Thanks. Joey, we're over there right now. Yeah, I know. I'm just waiting for my cab. What's going on here? Nothing's going on. I just I knew this was a bad idea, so I'm going home. No, Joey, come on. Stink, will you get off my back? Please, don't start. You know, cutting out the rest of the world is not going to bring her back. You know that, right? Will you save the Psych 101 crap for your students? I'm not a child. I don't need you or anyone else telling me how to live my life. Joey, we're your friends. We're worried about you. All I get are people feeling sorry for me. Why do you think I don't want to go tomorrow night? It just makes me feel worse. So this has nothing to do with Caitlin? No. No, it doesn't, all right? All right, I don't like her boyfriend. Beyonce. Whatever. And I don't like the fact that she feels sorry for me. But I'm fine. And frankly, I am sick and tired of everyone trying to save me. You know what? I'd look and see who's feeling sorry for who right now. Though. Okay, Keith's waiting for me back at the hotel. Can I help? Hey, Emma! How are you? It's so good to see you. Caitlin, can I ask you something? Sure. Let me guess. Your boyfriend? My friends don't think I should be with him. Well, what do you think? I mean, do you like him? Yeah, we get along so great. Sometimes, it's like he can read into my soul. Well, sometimes, then you just have to take a chance. Go for it. Even if your friends don't think it's right. Like what you do for the environment? Yeah, exactly. If my family had their way, I'd be working in an office right now, somewhere on Bay Street. Oh, what an awful thought. <laughs> so is he cute? Come on, I want details. Details, details, come <laughs> Details. Hey, Spike, what do you think of Keith? Caitlin could do a lot better. And Kitty. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> Very cool. But how do you know? I mean, when it's one of those times. Well, you know in here. And it's usually right. Oops, bonding <laughs> moment? Oh, no, no, just uh, boring Emma with tales of my environmental crusades. What you said? Wow. <laughs> Honey, do you want to join us for a minute? No, I'm tired. Night. Night, Em. So, what were you talking about? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, she's so young. Oh, and you're so old. <laughs> right, I'm practically 30. I refuse to have this biological clock discussion. I honestly, I don't even feel it. <laughs> I'm going out on a date. Oh. oh my god, that's the best thing about Keith. No more flirting with men in sandals over organic food and environmental chit chat. <laughs> Poor Caitlin. So many vegans, so little time. Sometimes you just go for it. Ha, 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 ha.